carry that investment, close the book for $5 million plus, and pack off and say, take the land and, and, and do whatever you want to do. Then they should pay us. They should pay us for the investment that we are putting under the ground there. If they are prepared to pay that investment, I believe government, every government will give their land back to them. But you cannot eat your cake and have it. This project is bringing job opportunities for citizens of the same wage irrigation dam area. The farmers are not coming from outside the, re the, the, the area. So the chiefs themselves are concerned about unemployment and its consequences to their community. This farming irrigation project is bringing solution to an otherwise social menace of unemployment. And I think the chief should be happy that government is encouraging such development in their locality and should be the ones who should be supporting government in this endeavor. Despite the order from the chiefs for the encroachers to stop work, construction is going on in earnest. According to the chief, Nia the 7th, in 2008, he took steps to preserve what is left of the government-acquired land. Just a few days before the interview, people were busily building on the irrigated land itself. So his attention was drawn to this. When asked whether he will back government to demolish structures on the irrigated land that he himself has barred people from encroaching, this is what the chief said. This country has sunk $5 million 